Hi guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you my absolute favorite tote by Michael Kors. I have used them for years. I have a lot of Michael Kors bags and this one is just my absolute favorite out of all of them. It, I, of course, am a tote girl. I just love my totes and stuffing it with all kinds of stuff. So I, I tried so many different totes, so many, I mean, I have a never full that I absolutely adore, but this one, I just, I feel like the straps are more sturdier and everything like that. So if you would like to see what my favorite Michael Kors tote bag is, please keep on watching. Okay guys, so I have a few to share with you that is in the exact same style, just different colors and prints. And this is the tote that I am talking about. It is the Michael Kors Carry All Tote. And I am just absolutely obsessed with it. I love it so much. I carry it more than a lot of my other bags. And you would think that just such a simple bag that I wouldn't want to carry it all the time, but I literally always carry it. So I get so much use out of these bags. And I've actually had this one for two years and you can't even tell. I do, um, I think I used it uh, last week or the week before that. And I have it stuffed still with so much stuff, but it looks just like this. I love that it has like the Michael Kors logo all over it. It has the beautiful, really nice pocket that goes deep in here. It goes all the way to down here. I love that. I always put my phone in that really big pocket. And then it has this beautiful like python snake print in gold and it just looks like gold foil. It's so beautiful. And the interior has quite a bit, I guess I'll show, the, show you the interior on a bag that is empty and doesn't have all of my stuff in it, but this is the bag. And um, on this one, you will see that it has this really dark um, brown kind of a trim right here, like a camel color. And this other one that I am fixing to show you looks a lot like it, but it is very different. So this one has the gold trim and the center stripe is just like a gold, um, I think it's like a, no, it's not a patent leather. Yeah, it kind of feels like a patent leather center stripe there. And then of course it has the beautiful Michael Kors gold hardware there. And then this other one that I was showing you guys, see how it has a different print in the middle? It has like like a scaly look to it and this one's just smooth and that is the different color of um you know trimming that this one has and the back obviously has that amazing deep pocket that i just love i keep it keep them stuffed just with all kinds of wrappers so i will take all of this out of this one so i can show you what the interior looks like but i absolutely love these so much I use them so much. I use a medium size uh, organizer in them. So I, I use a medium. I could use a large, it definitely fits in here, but I use a medium because I put it in here and I still have room left like from here this way. And I like to put like my big um, bottle of pills or I'll throw a water bottle in there or something like that. So I like to have that little extra space on the side. Um, even with the organizer in it. So let me go ahead and show you the interior. It's of course really, really deep. It's huge. It has like a nice little pocket right here that I just always keep stuffed even when I'm using it because I don't ever use that pocket. I love this zip pocket. Um, it has plenty of space in there as well. See, I always keep my care cards and the ticket with me. There you go. So there is the tag that came with this bag. I always use my tags and keep them in here just in case I ever want to find another one. It's just so, so, so smart to keep the tag that comes with all of your bags. And I just like to keep that in here. And then of course, like I showed you guys the care card and the care instructions go in there. But that's what I have and it's a really deep pocket. I love that pocket 
and it looks just like this. It also has like two little snaps here so you can close it if you would like to. Once in a while I do actually close it. I never thought I would, but I do. And then on this side over here, it has two other pockets right here, a really good size. I usually, what I do is I put, if I say it's like a late, um, a, a later night and we are um, out of town and we're leaving, we're fixing to head home. So I go ahead and take off all of my jewelry because I hate having my heavy jewelry on when I don't need to have it on. So on the way home, I'll take it off and I will put it in here. And then like my heavier necklaces, I will put it in this back pocket. Like my watch, I always put in this back pocket. And it's just, I love it. I absolutely love it. And this is just what that bag looks like. And it's my favorite. Like I'm telling you guys, it's my favorite. So the last one that I have to share with you that is that it's in, uh, style that same style is this one that I got I think I think I got it last year or the year before I don't even want to even say that because I haven't even used it so it sounds terrible but since I do have these other ones I feel like I gravitate more to the darker browns to use on the daily than to use this beautiful white because I'm always scared that I'm gonna like you know dirty it it's white but I have not used this one yet, but I know I will. I will. I know it sounds terrible, but I will definitely have to pull this beautiful baby out. So this one totally matches more with this other one right here. See, so it is the exact same, exact same um, print on it. And see the middle, it has the gold, and that's what they look like, and they're both outlined with that beautiful camel color. But I absolutely love this one, and now that I pull it out, I'm like, I can't believe I don't use it. It's such a beautiful color, and it's perfect for summer because it's a really light color. Oh, I'm just so in love with this bag, it's gorgeous but it has just been sitting there waiting for me. Um, I did stuff it as soon as I got it. Let me go ahead and show you it. Okay, so this is the interior of that one. It obviously still has the tag on it because I have not used it, but it's the same exact interior as the other bags that I just absolutely love. It has that big pocket back here that I absolutely love. And then um, one of the things that it doesn't have that I wish it had is feet. This is the bottom of it. It does not have any feet, but that is them. And I absolutely love them. Um, I, I believe they're all um, named the same thing. It's called Center Stripe. And then this is the vanilla color. And this is the large carry-all tote but I will get you a better look at the tag because I, surprisingly, I have a lot of people telling me, do you have a picture of the tag? Do you have the number so I can look up the bag? So I will go ahead and share that with you now. So this is the tag. I hope you can see. I always get these bags on sale. I never pay retail for them. They retail for $370. And this one says that I paid $329.98 but i mean you at outlets and stuff like that especially if it's an older bag they will have these there because i think i got uh i don't remember if it was this other one or i think it was this one that i got at the outlet and i think i paid no more than 200 dollars for this one so you just have to really look and i'm sure that online you can get some really good deals as well on these bags but this one is my absolute favorite. I will get my Neverfull MM to compare the sizes. Okay, so I brought out my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM so we can compare the two sizes. This one is a little bit bigger, so I don't know if it is the exact same length as the GM size of the Neverfull, but it is bigger than this one. So I will compare it like this, maybe like from corner to corner. You can see that the Michael Kors one is coming out over here a little bit more than the 
uh, Louis Vuitton Neverfull. So it looks just like that. So yes, this one is um, a little bit bigger than the MM. Like I said, I don't know if it is the exact same size as the GM, but I can tell when I use it that it's bigger than the MM. And yeah, but I definitely wanted to bring that out just to compare the two so you can know the sizing. So now I would like to stand up and do some mod shots for you guys so you can see how the bag lays on my body. Um, for reference, I am 5'6", so let's go ahead and put that in now. I wanted to scoot back but not hit anything over here, so I hope you guys can see very good. This is where this bag lays on me. And I don't ever wear it right here, but I mean, you could do that if you don't stuff it as much as I do. This is where it lays on me. Hoping I don't drop anything over here. So this is what it looks like. And I usually like say I am running out the house for some reason, I always carry it like this. That's probably why I always run into things, but I carry it like this. So yeah. That is what it looks like. I absolutely love this bag. These are the straps on my bag and you can't even tell that I use this so often because see like there's nothing is cracking or anything like that up here. Just the stitching is just so beautifully done. It looks so good and I, I use these. I use these bags a whole lot. I literally i feel like these are so much better to use on the daily and here's this other one that i use all the time i think i use this one the most so you can see the stitching even the hardware is like in such good condition it's really 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 good it's not even scratched and i use this quite a bit there's no cracking in the leather, nothing like that. And then here are those straps. Nothing is wrong with them. Like you cannot tell. And I do, I use these a lot. I use them a lot for them to not show any kind of damage on them. It is just really, really awesome to me. Because of course I have had my Louis Vuitton never full for a really long time. I've had it for years actually. And I do get a lot of use out of it, but you can definitely see it. So if you want a bag that you can be carefree about, because even the corners, like I hit my bags and I don't even mean to, they're just so big that sometimes I kind of throw them back when they're on my shoulder and they will like hit the wall on accident or I'm getting out of the, the Jeep and it's so small that it kind of just hits the door or hits the Jeep, you know, and I don't mean to do that, but it's so big that it does do that. And then I'll get inside and like look at it under the light and the thing is wrong with them. And that's what I really, really, really love about these Michael Kors bags because they are just such great quality. I stand by them 110%. I know that it was crazy there for a while and everybody had a Michael Kors bag and everybody wanted a Michael Kors bag. And now I feel like it's kind of died down but I still love carrying my Michael Kors bags. Like I don't care if I'm carrying a Louis Vuitton one or a Michael Kors one. I really, really love the quality of this bag, so I don't care what it's called. But I really wanted to share it with you guys because I feel like if you are a toe person, you have got to at least get one of these bags in your hands and you will know what I'm talking about. You will be absolutely in love with these darling bags as I am. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you like videos like this about bags and comparisons and stuff like that, subscribe because I will be doing a lot of videos on my beautiful handbags That's for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will definitely see you guys in my next one. Bye.